Hello ladies and gentlemen, Harlequin Coho here and I've got another cool 1v1 game for you. In the bottom side of the map we have Automed 3 as an armor commander. Uh, Automed 3 aka Automed is uh, rank 1 currently for armor. Uh, so really, really tough looking armor player here. You can see he went ahead right off the bat and got his barracks out there and now second engineer is moving along. And his opponent on the northern side of the map playing as the terror commander is the one, the only... Uh, you know, I knew this was going to happen. I knew, I know this player was on the ladder, and I said, you know, at some point, I'm going to have to say this guy's name over and over and over again. And his name is a little bit not safe for work. So I'm going to go ahead and call him Suck. And that is this player's name is Suck. Uh, my apologies for not being able to say his whole name, but I know some people watch this at work or with family around or something like that. So rather than shouting out his name over and over and over again, and what would probably be a hilarious yet slightly embarrassing uh, maneuver, we'll just call him Suck. So anyhow, we'll see Suck here as a <laughs> as a good-looking uh, terror commander. He is currently number four on the terror ladder when I saw it. Uh, these they're talking about their rankings right now, but they're a little out of date because the game is a little bit older. So, Bargain Folks Grenadiers, right away, coming on out. And uh, we can also see that he does have Burgers, Panzer, Pioneers. So, a lot of good, juicy units on the field for him right away. Uh, let's take a look at the overhead map. You can see that uh, he was very quick to go and get the juicier bits of the right-hand side, i.e. the quick little free fuel here and uh, this nice little medium munitions point. Uh, meanwhile, connecting the... Uh, the high munitions point and this little bit of manpower territory together uh, to kind of establish his connection on the left hand side. So I'm going to take a jump on down here to Automed and just see where he's going with that. Automed on the other hand went for the kind of the non munition opening. He grabbed this region right here and this region right here kind of extending his reach as far as he could and then doubled back to get the munition and the other munition on the right hand side there and jumping out to get the third munition. So kind of no munitions in the first iteration of that and then triple munitions in the second iteration. So. Uh, uh, now that he's got that, he's got a good control, and uh, we'll see that we've got these Bargain Volksgrenadiers kind of on the move. If you're not familiar with these, at level 5, they basically cost a whole lot less than normal Volksgrenadiers, and uh, they have a little bit more hit points and stuff. It's actually a pretty rare uh, drop item, I believe. And uh, Burger's Panzer Pioneers, another one of those really good uh, good units. At level 5, it has an extra man, and they have a, a Panzer Shrek. HMG team now setting up, nice, keeping a nice good distance, but oh, setting up just a little bit too late to get any sort of a, a suppression down for the riflemen here. And uh, you can see these bargain folks traders are really just kind of laying in. Uh, these riflemen have already took a casualty and are, you know, pretty much at half hit points. And uh, these engineers, the same story, take a casualty and about half hit points there. Meanwhile, just a little bit of light skirmishing going on here on the right while uh, Automed takes his fuel point. Let me jump back into the action here. Another casualty, two more casualties going down uh, <coughs> for this squad of riflemen. And really, now the pressure is coming on pretty strong here. <laughs> oh, I love those little Panzer Shrek shots kind of out of nowhere. Destroying the cover these guys were sitting behind. They kind of back up a little bit. And now the HMG team is clearly within range. Uh, Rifleman Squad taking another shot. And here we have on the right-hand side the Gladiator Rifleman. Fire up. This is one of my favorite moves. Fire up the Gladiator Rifleman. Charge the machine gun. Uh, you can see they took one casualty on the way over here. <coughs> Uh, and now, because the machine gun nest is, is constantly moving, uh, they're kind of forced to throw their grenade elsewhere. And now, now the charge has run out and they're moving slowly, the machine gun can keep its distance, set back up again, and you can see the Bargain Vokes and uh, the Panzer Pioneers are really just kind of laying into them. Uh, taking some casualties, taking some casualties. Oh, two left, one left, two left. And the final grenade goes off! They throw a grenade right before leaving, and it actually does take out both of the uh, machine guns. Machine gunners... That sort of thing. So, uh, pretty surprising. So the you know the Gladiator Rifleman, really good unit there. So we, oh, already we're seeing a bunch of uh, kind of rare units in play for all of these guys. Not not rare in the sense that I don't see people use them, but they're just hard to get. Uh, so now we have the Rifleman uh, moving on up to the right hand side, and let's take a quick look at army items here for uh, Automed. You can see he does have the nine percent accuracy, six percent damage received, or i.e. six percent uh, armor, and uh, twenty percent vision. Uh, if you're if you even plan on making two or more riflemen squads, pretty much those three army items are a must-have. Uh, riflemen are just so much of your early army. Having you know slightly better, slightly stronger riflemen really really goes the distance. <coughs> uh, his engineers, by the way, also have rifle upgrades. Now we have close combat Volks now on the field, kind of moving up to cover where that machine gun used to be. So already we've got uh, Panzer Pioneers, Bargain 
uh, Vox Grenadiers and Close Combat Vox Grenadiers, all level 5. Really, really mean looking uh, heroes there. And we'll see that this HMG team, by the way, for player suck, uh, has the 15% increased wep uh, weapon damage. That's a blue item. 10% uh, armor, blue item, and 30% uh, sight range. So the machine guns are pretty upgraded. And uh, that's good because they, the German MGs tend to have longer sight range. Oh, we can see just laying right into this first rifleman squad here. Unfortunately, the second squad is coming up to kind of pin them down, and they're going to have to back away. Uh, looks like they took a single casualty here. And now the Riflemen are just kind of chasing away, chasing away, and regular Volks coming up. By the way, regular Volks, 24% squad health increase. Oh, and look at that. We do also have the propaganda going down. You can see propaganda in that area reducing accuracy and that sort of thing. Uh, it's, it's right inside this giant circle here. Uh, they're quick to kind of move on out of that. And... Like I was saying, they have the, he has the epic item that increases uh, squad health by 24%, and uh, we'll take a look at the rest of those, because they just retreated, and I was busy commenting all this junk. Uh, quickly capping on the right-hand side here, while these uh, Gladiator Riflemen uh, put down some suppressing fire on everybody else, and then kind of back away. So, uh, some strong capping going on here on the right. Meanwhile, on the left, uh, very strong control. Bargain Volksgrenadier is still hanging out up here. Burger Panzer Pioneers as well. So... Uh, close combat folks moving on in for the kill. That's always good stuff there. So let's take a look at those items again uh, for Suck. He's got increased squad health by 24%, decreased reinforcement cost by 30%, blue item, and 9% accuracy. So really, really beefy looking infantry here for both players. Uh, close combat folks now moving on in, backed up once again by this uh, really upgraded machine gun. And the fighting continues. Now this is the appropriate way to engage close combat folks. They will destroy you if you try and fight them close. Uh, so you really want to keep your distance and and no 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 no. Automed, you're getting a little little anxious here. I think he was moving up just for this hand grenade. So I take that back. That's a perfectly okay move. Boom! Three kills from that first hand grenade. Uh, that'll soften him up nicely. But unfortunately, this next burst of machine gun fire. Uh, if he has munitions, he definitely does. I want to see these guys just fire up and run around behind them. But uh, they're too weak there. So he retreated this this unit. And unfortunately, there's still uh, these guys are just kind of hanging out here in the building and uh, really getting pinned. Really, really got to retreat here. Got to retreat. Machine gun all around them. Uh, and I don't know if he meant to retreat these gladiator riflemen on the right hand side or not, but now everybody's out of there. So, <sighs> moving on back. So on the left hand side here, we got a little bit of a uh, setup going on. Oh, it looks like uh, it looks like this Volksmeister squad split up and uh, recaptured this uh, uh, this uh, HMG here. And meanwhile, Bargain Vogue's Grenadier is hanging out. So, Ottoman has been thoroughly pushed back now. Uh, you can see he's just building his supply yard and uh, that sort of thing. He needs to kind of lick his wounds and reinforce all this and get back there. Let me take a look at Suck and see what his base looks like at the moment. So, uh, the two of them are just kind of chit-chatting. Looks like he's upgrading to the next phase of his headquarters there. And no other buildings. Pretty much everything coming out of the Wehrmacht quarters for the time being. Nice positioning on this HMG team. This... This is a good building to occupy. It looks like he's going to stab forward even a little bit further. And uh, double mines in the center here by the uh, Panzer Pioneers. Uh, this is always, always a good place to mine. And uh, high-level players always walk around with minesweepers just because of that. Uh, another obvious place is somewhere around here. That sort of thing. So, riflemen are moving on up. Double squads of riflemen now putting pressure. Uh, the Panzer Pioneer is going to have to get on out of there because that is a tough fight. And uh, it's an interesting strategic choice at this point to push into the left. I think he just wants to... Uh, I th I, if I had to guess, I'd say that both of these riflemen are pretty much just acting as a distraction so that he can get up here with his last... Uh, with his gladiator rifleman, rather, and put and uh, cap this victory point. Bargain Volks Grenadiers kind of holding their own, but unfortunately, there we have it. Now, I'm always talking about my favorite HMG teams. Oh, look at that. The fire up is coming. The fire up is coming. He's trying to get around. Uh, trying to do some flanking on this HMG team. Look at him just running alongside them. Going to try and do some drive-by shooting on these guys. And now he's backing on out of there to cap this fuel point. I always say that my favorite HMG teams even fool the commentator. Because here it was, tucked nicely back in there. And uh, perfectly able to sucker any sort of forces into that uh, into that range there. And even I was like, oh no, surprise HMG team. Uh, but luckily, surprise HMG teams don't work too well against gladiators. Because of that uh, fire-up ability they have. It's like... Kind of like a heroic charge, I guess. I actually forget what the name of it is, but I love my uh, Gladiator Riflemen. I actually have three of them. <clears throat> moving right along. HMG team moving out, doing its thing. And here we have our first Krieg Barracks. And it looks like Suck is opting to go with the ver with a uh, an early pack. Uh, most likely a hero pack. 
Uh, it seems to be common enough. A common enough theme with these high-level players is that they have level five of all of the interesting ones. So meanwhile, moving on out, moving on out. And here we have the early motor pool and the early greyhound, uh, undoubtedly researching armored skirts right now. And here, here we can see three more of Automat's army items. By the way, he has the increased rate of fire by 20%, 10% weapon damage, and 24% max health. Uh, so two blue items there as well. And uh, the combination of that, that makes up for about seven of them. I don't know what his eighth one is. HMG team really putting some serious hurt down. Vox Grenadiers have got the uh, extra... Oh! I've got the uh, MP40 upgrade. And now the Greyhound armor car is moving in, putting some pressure. It looks like he's firing at the Vox Grenadiers. I would rather have him firing at that HMG team. Uh, everybody else over here on the left is very pinned. And uh, there we go. I think it looks like... Yes! Looks like Ottoman went ahead and uh, activated uh, HVAP rounds and armored bounty. Armored Bounty, by the way, it looks like he's got it upgraded as well. You can see that in addition to it, he's got more damage and more reload speed, uh, which is, I believe, one of the... Oh, oh, Gladiator Rifleman, get on out of there! Oh, the whole Gladiator Rifleman goes down while I'm busy explaining all this stupid stuff. And, uh, ooh, look at that. We also have Inspired Zeal uh, going on, but now they're retreating and getting the heck on out of there. And I'm going to go ahead and swap back to Player Suck. So Inspired Zeal activated there. Uh, what I was trying to say, by the way, is he has points spent into uh, Armored Bounty that uh, increase the, I think it's increased attack rate and damage whenever they get a kill. So not only does Armored Bounty cause them to make a little bit of money back, but it also uh, can increase their rate of fire. So he had HVAP rounds up, which uh, increases armor penetration, which doesn't do anything versus infantry, but it does increase accuracy and, and attack speed and armored bounty up as well. So he had a pretty buffed up thing there. We do have the Blitz anti-tank gun up here uh, coming for in, coming in for a suck, and that has the interesting ability that at level 5 it can fire three times while cloaked, which is exactly what we're seeing here, uh, without revealing itself. So uh, that Blitz anti-tank gun, sorry, level 4 anti-tank gun. I'm misspeaking here. Uh, great, great to get the jump on uh, Greyhounds, and it's also really hard to attack it because uh, a lot of times you can't really see where it is when it starts firing. So, meanwhile, it looks like Suck... Oh, wonderful mine placing. Suck is going, going ahead and dropping some mines right here in this little channel. Double mines, too. I really I, <laughs> I really like that. It's expensive, uh, but, you know, if, if you can afford it, if you have the munitions for it, uh, doubling up your mine placements. We, that's the second time we've seen him do that. And uh, it's just really good, uh, you know. You'll either hit them both because you'll take some damage and then keep crawling forward and hit the next one, or, you know, you'll hit them and get killed or retreat, and then, uh, oh, no! Look at that! <laughs> oh, no, nobody expects that. It looks like the uh, Gladiator Rifleman running up to engage them while they were building that uh, detonated both of the mines at the same time, uh, killing some of themselves and, I believe, killing all of the uh, engineers who were there at the time. Uh, HMG team got a nice little kind of uh, side view of this area. And the Greyhound Armored Car is flying on up in. <laughs> wow, Greyhound Armored Car just barely missing those mines. And now we have the Minesweepers here that can perfectly see it as well. So, uh, Minesweepers doing their thing. Greyhound moving along. Hopefully going to hunt down this HMG team, although I don't know if he actually saw it or not. Now he definitely can see it. Doing some damage here. A little bit of light damage on the HMG team. Going to have to move away. You'll see activating the HVAP once again. Uh, you know, it's 30 munitions. It's not that bad of an ability. And uh, it increases your accuracy and increases your reload speed. Uh, which is really good for Greyhounds because they their main gun is so slow. Meanwhile, we have a second anti-tank gun in his base. Uh, looks like he's definitely getting you know a little bit of preparations here in case that Greyhound gets a little overambitious, which it very well might. Automed, don't risk everything. It looks like he really wants to kill the rest of that machine gun team, but this is always a dangerous move. Uh, definitely not bad coming in putting pressure on the Volksgrandiers, but it's that side that side armor shot. Two shots. Oh no, two shots on the Greyhound from this pack sitting in the front of his base. He's coming in. Automed, no, don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Get out of here. Use your Greyhound for longer. Uh, so now the Greyhound is in a bad position. He knows that there's a pack out there taking some shots at him. Does he assume it's moving? Oh, and it looks like it's readjusting to get a shot off on him. Will he get out of here in time? Boom! Oh, main cannon destroyed, but engine is still intact and uh, careening away. Uh, realizing that the edge of the map is there and he cannot actually use this road, he's going to go back and drive into a, another angle here. And just, just barely getting away. Showing us that, you know, sometimes you just got to be super lucky with those things. So these packs, you know, they're paying the bills. Uh, the Panzer Pioneers are back. Or no, I'm sorry, they, they never died. It was different engineers who died before. Panzer Pioneers are still alive and well. 
Uh, Blitz anti-tank gun hanging out, and now this is really solid control. And any vehicles coming in here are going to get picked off by this anti-tank gun. He's got double machine gun emplacements. Now, I almost think that that's way too many machine guns, but uh, Bargain Volkswagen Radiators, close combat Volkswagen Radiators, really strong looking front.